Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer. What is known as the daily office lectionary, and I'm sorry that this meditation is being uploaded late, but I had one recorded and I thought it was sent to the interwebs and, and it's not there. So let's go ahead and do it again because it's the epistle of St. James. Uh, we've started that now and uh, this is one of those great epistles uh, we, that we read that James just kind of gets right down to brass tacks, right? He just says, this is the way it is. This is how we live the faith. Let's get on with it. Uh, so we're, uh, James chapter 1, beginning at verse 13. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bring forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of burning. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluidity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the ingrafted word which is able to save your soul. But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, He's like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass, for he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what some manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he not being a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man should be blessed in his deed. And if any man among you seem to be religious and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Okay, like I said, good common sense stuff. Uh, first of all, uh, he says, first of all, when we're tempted, this isn't that God is tempting you to sin. He would not do that. Now, will he, does, does he allow temptations to happen? Yes. Does he always have a way for us to escape? Yes, we always have the grace necessary to not fall for temptation. Um, but he turns right around and says, look, at you take the engrafted word, hear the word of God, right? Learn the word of God. Uh, and I love that. Lay apart all filthiness and superfluidity of naughtiness, right? The naughtiness to the nth degree. Um, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. Now, and of course, when James is talking about the engrafted word, he's talking about the Old Testament. But more importantly, he's talking about the logos, the word himself, Jesus Christ, right? The New Testament hasn't been written yet. These epistles become a part of the New Testament. The Gospels haven't been put pen to paper yet, most likely. Maybe they're in the, their uh, beginning stages. But what we believe is has the Bible and the New Testament hasn't been published yet, right? So, but he says the engrafted word of God through the prophets, through the teachings, and then through uh, what they are hearing about Jesus Christ and receiving in these letters, right? But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves, right? The salvation isn't accomplished by works, but James says that you're a fool if you think you can just hear the word and not do it. So the works are tied up, in, the actions are tied up in our hearing and receiving the word of God and putting into effect this life of salvation that God has freely given to us. We don't earn it, we don't get bonus points for doing it, but we do it because we are in the family. We are saved by grace. So, there it is, the beginning of St. James Epistle. Uh, today is Monday, we have 12:15 Holy Communion, four o'clock evening prayer. And I hope you can join us in church. If not, join us and pray with us on the live stream where you're watching this morning meditation. And may God give you a Monday that is full of blessings.